Hello everyone and welcome to yet another video on my YouTube channel Mr. B does electronics. So this will be the second uh, video of the two part series about air pollution. I will link to the first part of the video in the i card above and as well as in the description below. Uh, in this video I will be talking about this handheld PM meter that I showed off uh, for a very little very small part in my previous video and in this video I dive into all of the nitty gritty details about what are the components that are used, what is the coding, what is the website uh, where it uploads all of its uh, historic data where you can see all your graphs and all the details of the data that it is collecting over a period of time. So without a wasting any more time let's dive right in. So this is the PM meter in none of its glory. Uh, so as you can see, I've used a plastic box, black in color. I have bought this off of Amazon. These are called project boxes. You can cut all sorts of shapes into it and fit everything. Uh, so these can be easily bought off of Amazon or any other e-commerce site, or you can buy it at your local uh, hobby st stores also. So let's get on with the specifications and what all the parts that I've used up front as you can see this is a 1.3 inch monochrome white OLED display this on the side on the right hand side is the on off toggle switch this is the star of the show this is the PM sensor with its inlet up top and the outlet at the bottom I have dived into the principle and uh, what kind of principle this PM sensor follows in my previous video I'll again link it up in the iCart here you can click it to follow that link to that video and at the bottom also you can see you can barely see a micro usb port which is used for the charging the inbuilt 2500 mah 18650 lithium ion battery on the inside and next i'll just open this up and show you what's going on on the end so let's open it up these are the two small screws which were holding the case together from the back i have just turned the device on and let me just crack it open and there's on the inside so let's dive right in this is the OLED module as you can see over here it is hot glued together as well as I have used tape to insulate it this is the 18650 battery that I was talking about also hot, cool, hot glued into place this is the heart of the device this is the ESP8266 running the code uh, taking the data from the PM meter or the PM sensor over here and displaying it over onto this OLED display as well as it is also uploading it to one of the server uh, which I will talk in later part of the video. Uh, it is uploading it to there as you, you will be able to see graphs and everything if it is running for a long enough time. This is the toggle on of switch and buried in here is the lithium ion charging as well as protection circuit. The TP 4056 so that's what is going on on the inside it's quite simple and I will so now let's turn on the device and as you can see I have just integrated a boot up animation if you can call it that and next it will show you these booting connecting it is connecting to my local Wi-Fi router and uh, after a few seconds and just like that as you can see it is already giving you the reading to get a more accurate reading out you have to give it some warm-up time so that it can adjust itself and can now to show you that it actually works what i have got here is an incense stick which is emitting smoke and you will see a drastic change in this reading over here as soon as i keep it in front of the intake And as you can see, it just shot up to 1000 uh, particulate matter uh, concentration. Both PA, all the three that is PM1, PM2.5, and PM10. And now, after some time, it, as, as soon as all the smoke particles pass through the inlet and through uh, out the outlet of the device, it will just re reset itself back to the normal readings. So as you can see it has settled back to the normal indoor PM concentration and it is adjusting itself slowly rising and rising and it will stagnate to a certain value as soon as it acclimatizes itself to the nature of the surrounding it is in. So these kind of devices are very useful to give you an idea of the uh, PM concentration in your ambient surrounding. It can be used indoor or outdoors. These are 
uh, running off of the ESP which is a very capable little microprocessor which can also host a Wi-Fi network also so that it can upload to any website of your choice. Uh, so that's the whole working principle of this device. And So I hope all of you really enjoyed this video and learned something about how to make these kind of uh, PM uh, particulate matter sensors DI in a DIY style and I was able to reach out to all of you with whatever little knowledge that I have based on air pollution uh, and if you have learned anything or have found this video even a little bit informative and useful please do subscribe to my channel like share and comment also uh, and uh, about commenting you can comment any new ideas in the description box below I check all of your comments out and uh, reply back to each and every one of you as fast as possible and with that I'm ending this video about air pollution catch you on the next one peace